Rapture is a song by American rock band Blondie from their fifth studio album, Auto American, in 1980. Written by band members Debbie Harry and Chris Stein and produced by Mike Chapman, the song was released as the second and final single from Auto American on January 12, 1981 by Chrysalis Records. Musically, Rapture is a combination of a new wave, disco, and hip-hop with a rap section forming an extended coda. Rapture was another commercial success for the band, shipping 1 million copies in the United States, where it was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America, and spent two weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, their fourth and last single to reach the top ten. It was the first number one single in the United States to feature rap vocals. The single also peaked at number three in Canada and number five in Australia and the United Kingdom. The mini-film, directed by Keith McMillan, a.k.a. Keith, was a revelation in an era when most music videos consisted of a band pretending to perform a song on a soundstage. It not only told a story, it also merged New York City's hip-hop, art, and clubbing cultures in a totally unprecedented way. When the new cable channel MTV launched later that year, in August 1981, Rapture was not only the sole rap video it aired on its first day, it was one of the few clips that had any kind of urban grit at all, not to mention one of the few that included people of color. MTV wouldn't air a video by a rap group until Run DMC's Rockbox a whole three years later. Singer Debbie Harry and guitarist Chris Stein were friends with Brooklyn and Bronx-based hip-hop artists such as Fab Five Freddy in the late 1970s. Freddy took Debbie and Chris to a rap event in the Bronx one night in 78, and they were both impressed by the skill and excitement as MC rhymed lyrics over the beats of spinning records and people lined up for a chance to take the microphone and freestyle rap. Debbie and Chris went to a few more such events before deciding to write a rap song of their own in late 1979. They decided to combine what they had seen and heard in the Bronx with chic-inspired disco music. Keyboardist Jimmy Distree found some tubular bells in the back of the studio, which added a haunting touch to the song. The title, Rapture, was obviously a pun on rap, according to Chris. In an early recording, the music was slower and simpler. Chris Stein said the slower tape was just bass, drums, and guitar doubling the bass. I don't think much else. The version was put aside and later reworked as Rapture for Rapture. Stein said that we decided to make it faster. Stein later retrieved the original recording and Debbie Harry and Braith with added vocals. The result was released in the UK as Yuletide Throwdown as a flexi disc given away with the magazine Flexi Pop. Chris Stein loved B-movies, science fiction imagery, so he wrote some surreal verses about a man from Mars for the chorus. Debbie tried to capture the feeling of a crowded hip-hop dance floor in the Bronx, toe-to-toe, dancing very close, body breathing, almost comatose, wall-to-wall, people hypnotize, and they're stepping lightly, hanging each night in rapture. They also referenced their friend Fab Five Freddy, as well as Grandmaster Flash. The song was the first major hip-hop song to use original music rather than samples. <laughs> 